This video is designed to show you how to install your presets from the Lux Lens. All of our presets can be found at www.theluxlens.com. We also provide um, written instructions on our website. So as soon as you make a purchase of our product, you'll receive an email within a couple of minutes. Within that email, there will be a link and that link gives you access to a zipped file. So that's what we'll start with here. As you can see on my screen, I have a zipped file and I've chosen Lux Season Winter Lightroom Presets. So what I'm going to do is hover over this, right click and click Extract All. So that's going to unzip our information and give us access to the content within the files. Now when I choose to extract it, it's showing me that it's going to put that information directly onto my desktop. I'm going to keep that as is because it'll make my materials very accessible. I'll know exactly where they go and then I can manage them from there. So I will simply click extract at the bottom. It goes pretty quickly. And as you can see on the left hand side here, I now have my extracted files. So here's the zipped with uh, a zipper and a compressed file collection. And here are files that I can access, which have opened automatically in my window over here. I'm going to click on these presets and just show you an example of the content within the folder. So we have our presets, we have our brush sets, uh, how to install Lightroom presets. So this is simply a PDF of uh, written instructions. And then we have a Word file of general tips for applying this specific set of presets. Now, if you've already had a chance to review the instructions, you would have seen that presets and brushes actually get installed into different folders. And so we'll start with presets and then we will go on to brushes. So I will start by opening up Lightroom here. I'm working with the um, Lightroom month to month subscription. Although if you're working with Lightroom five or six, and in some cases even four, um, that would be just fine. And the process is quite similar. What I'm going to do is go up to the menu over here, click on edit, then down to preferences. I'll click on preferences and a window will open up. Now one thing I'd like you to know here, the store presets with this catalog, make sure this is unchecked. If it is checked, you may run into some problems with the install and also accessing some of your presets. So I'm going to go into the tab here called show Lightroom presets folder. And as soon as that opens up, I'll see Lightroom which I want to click on. And then I'm looking for a folder called develop presets. Now, if you've never installed presets, this folder actually comes um, pre-designed with your Lightroom program. So uh, regardless, you'll see develop presets. You wanna go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, I have already installed some of the presets from our collection uh, into this folder. Now, had I not done that, I could um, cancel out of here minimize this window, I have this open. And what I would do is I would take this and I would transfer it directly into that file. I would just drag and drop and I would transfer it directly into that file. And the way that you get minimized windows here is this little button here. So you can click that and minimize it. So you can make it uh, quite small, mildly small or taking up the whole screen. So once I have transferred that, I will see my presets in Lightroom. So I will go into Lightroom and the presets are always located on the left hand side here. So if you don't see your presets, oftentimes people will accidentally be in the library mode. And you see in the library mode, we actually get a different type of catalog and menu over here. So make sure that you are in the develop module. What I like to do when I'm applying presets is to see a before and after. So I'm gonna click these uh, two Y's here. And when I click on the picture, it allows me to see a before and after of my presets, which is very handy. So here I have the uh, punchy mat preset applied. If I wanted to click to a different preset, I'm working with the Lux Essentials here. I would simply click on that. And I actually have an older computer. And so mine takes a little bit to load. This is completely normal. So I can see the change occur right up here immediately and it takes just a little bit for the before and after to load. Now this is particularly the case if you're working with, for example, the fairy effect or the snow effect in winter. Give it a couple minutes to load, particularly if you have an older model computer. 
So now we have our presets loaded and these are fun to play with, kind of point and click and you can see the before and after here. Next, how do we load our brushes and where are our brushes? If we minimize this window again, so if you remember, um, this is the original file that we unzipped and this is where I put our presets. So I'm just gonna X that out and I'll keep this open. These are again, the original files that we downloaded from the zip file. I'm going to open Lightroom again go to edit again, so this is a very similar process, go to preferences, just like we did before. It's going to open, this is unchecked, go to show Lightroom presets folder, I'll click on that, click on Lightroom again. So again, the same process as we did before, but before we were putting our presets into develop presets, now we need to put our brushes into a different folder. So we're going to look for a folder called local adjustment presets. Now in some cases, and it is very uncommon, some programs don't come pre-programmed with this file for some reason. If that is the case, go ahead up here, click new folder and label it local adjustment presets. But make sure you have a folder named local adjustment presets because this is where your brushes will go. So I'm gonna click on that folder. And as you can see, I've already put my some brushes in here. So I have the fall brushes, I have essential and I have winter. Now, I've also put some files in here as an example of um, what is not necessarily helpful. So as you can see, I have accidentally put a zipped file in here. And it doesn't cause anything to malfunction, but when I go to use the portrait brushes, those will be inaccessible. So this zipped file needs to go through the process that I just showed you extracting all the information and putting it in here. If it remains zipped in your file and you do see that zipper when you go into your local adjustments, or your develop presets file, that just means that you need to go back and unzip it. So this portrait brushes is inaccessible as, as it is current. So now that I have everything loaded, um, again, I would have drag and dropped um, my new files into here. If I were doing um, a, a download from the original file, but I already had the files in here. So I'll X out. And if I go over here, I don't see any brushes. So oftentimes people say, my brushes don't load. Well, our brushes can actually be found on the other side of the screen. So if we go over here, there is a brush icon, adjustment brush. And this icon, I believe is new for Lightroom 5. So go ahead and click on that icon. So notice when I click on that icon, this menu changes. And my brushes will be accessible if you see these triangles that are stacked up on top of each other. I'm going to click that. Here are all of my brushes. So these are brushes that I've purchased and these are brushes that automatically come with Lightroom. Regardless, they're all applied in the same manner. So I can set my presets over here and then I can take my brushes and make changes to my presets um, after they've been applied. So. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions at all about install, feel free to email us at sales at theluxlens.com and happy presetting.